So welcome back everybody. This week's video is going to be very, very different than the normal videos that I do. Um, I, and uh, this week I've been kind of preoccupied with cleaning up storm damage at a friend's house. Thankfully we didn't get hit bad here at our house. Uh, he had some, uh, quite a few large trees down. And if you saw the post down in the community tab uh, a few days ago, I posted a picture of a, a 32 inch pine log that we are going to attempt to mill with the LT 15, which is certainly way beyond its capacity, but we're going to give it a try. Hopefully we'll have a video uh, of that in the next week or so. Uh, but this week, uh, besides working on that, <clears throat> I've been working on this laundry room here in our house. I've said before on the channel, we're in the middle of a home remodel and I, I'm working on the laundry room right now. And I wanted to show y'all a tool. And this tool is something that I purchased with my own money just yesterday because I was basically desperate for something to solve a really serious problem that I have in here. Uh, so this is not a, uh, this is not a paid promotion. Uh, this is, this tool was not given to me. Uh, this, I just picked this up at Home Depot yesterday and I'm just, incredibly impressed with this tool and I just want to show y'all show this to y'all so that if y'all have a similar problem uh, this is this is y'all's solution so let's check the tool out first this is the Dremel Multimax MM50 uh, this is the bigger one I think that 50 just means it's five amps uh, you can see on the bottom right here it says five amps there's a smaller one and it's three and a half amps um, this one came with a, an accessory kit with quite a few attachments not attachments with different blades and uh, like I said I just got this from Home Depot. It was $129 and uh, so far it's been worth every penny. I did get a few extra blades with it but here's the here's the tool itself. You can see it's uh, the size of yeah, I don't know. I guess it's the size of a Dremel Multimax. I'm not sure what to compare it to. I almost got the Rigid brand, but they didn't really have the accessory kit that I wanted with the Rigid brand. And plus, this one has an angled cutting head to it, which was a huge selling point for me. If you can see this cutting head is at an angle. The Rigid one was straight and parallel with the body of the tool. And that angle cutting head allows me to get up into corners and uh, it has been incredibly helpful. So let's, let me show you all the problem that I'm having. So guys, the lighting in here is just really, really putrid. I had to, to take out the light in here to take the ceiling down, of course. So uh, here, here we go. Y'all can probably get a good idea of the problem right here. Uh, this is, I guess, three eighths of an inch plywood that was used as ceiling and it's put in with nails that are these big galvanized nails and there are quite a few of them up there that really wasn't the main problem that created a challenge but that wasn't the main problem the main problem here is that the ceiling was put up and then this extra closet then all of the wall boards and so that created the problem of this ceiling being right above these wall boards right here so of course to really take this entire ceiling down i would need to take every last one of these wall boards off and I, I, you know it would that would require basically <laughs> almost tearing half of the half of the laundry room apart and that is not what i'm interested in doing so i needed a tool that would get right up in here and make a flush cut uh, right here so we can get rid of this ceiling you can see right here before i bought this new tool i was using my skill saw and that was a big challenge and it didn't get anywhere near where I needed it to get. So I was pretty desperate. So uh, let me show y'all uh, the other side, what I've been working on and how this tool, uh, how this tool has solved my problems. So here's the other side of the laundry room that I have been working on and you can see how I was able to make a cut that was flush with the rest of the inside wall boards here. And I, you know, it may be an exaggeration, but that, that has basically, basically saved my life or at least saved incredible amounts of effort and time on this little project. So let's get the tool going and I'll show y'all how it works. So here we go. Like I said, we'll go ahead and put a stopwatch on this so I can show y'all how long it takes to get through this. What is that? About three feet or so. Well, we'll just do this panel right here. This is I guess it's the full length, so it would be four feet. So we'll go ahead and start the stopwatch and see how long it takes to get through it. Oh, my God. 
So that one was probably the most stubborn one that I've done so far. Uh, 8 minutes, 51 seconds, um, and I'm going to subtract a minute off of that for moving the camera and for the time it took me to get ready. So we're going to call it 8 minutes. Um, that was one of the most stubborn ones that I've done so far. Um, but let me, let me get up closer and I'll show you all uh, how we can clean it up with this tool also. show y'all how the um, how you can change blades on it uh, I mean it's it's a toolless it's a toolless system and I've already I don't know how I did that oh, I see I see what I did <clears throat> it probably got jammed on the ceiling right there and it kind of messed up some of the plastic oh, well that's fine so it's a toolless blade change system you just loosen that up right there push that little button and that's it that is it then you stick your new blade on, get it in the right spot right there, and tighten it up, and you're back in business. Now this blade that I just put on there is a wood and metal blade. It's kind of like a sawzall in a sense. You've got you know, wood with nails, and you've got plain wood blades, and you've got metal blades, drywall, and I think that they do, there are ceramic blades and uh, stuff like that too. But um, uh, let's, I'll show you how this goes through nails. I'll let y'all check out the box here uh, for more information on this tool. You can see there are, I, I, you know, I don't even know the extent of all the accessories, I'm sure, but we've got sandpaper right here. Um, drywall stuff I guess they call it a jab saw or something it's got a hook on the end you can cut backwards I guess wood and drywall wood uh, wood and metal just all kinds of things but y'all can pause this and check this box out if you need to so here we've got a side view here and you can see all the stuff this thing can do we've got a guy right here cutting uh, I guess that's cement board of some sort I'm not totally sure what that is um, uh, we've got somebody sanding steel, sanding an old little red wagon, somebody removing paint right here, and somebody trimming up grout in a, uh, in a tile shower. So it's incredibly versatile. You all can pause if you need to. And here's the back as well if you all need, need to pause. So guys, that's all I've got for this video. Uh, short and sweet, hopefully. Uh, very poor lighting. I hope the audio is halfway decent. But, you know, a lot of times you buy tools and you think they're going to be great and uh, the advertising is so nice and you just think you need it. And when you get it, it just doesn't deliver in the least. This tool 
delivers. This is one of the, I don't want to say that this tool, uh, I don't want to be so dramatic and say that this tool has saved my life, but it's, <laughs> it's come very close. Uh, I'm very pleased with this. It does everything that it says it can do and, uh, and probably then some. As far as the longevity goes, I'm not sure. Of course, I just got it. It's very heavy. It seems to be very well put together. Um, but, you know, there's no telling. We'll just, we'll just have to see, I guess. And it's probably not something I'll use a whole lot after this project, but uh, it has more than paid for itself already uh, in this project. And, um, and that's it. I hope that this helps somebody. Uh, if y'all are going through some kind of a remodel or have some kind of a stubborn little corner right here that you just can't figure out a solution for, this is your solution right here. Um, like I said, this was not sponsored by anybody. Dremel didn't sponsor this. Home Depot didn't sponsor this. This money came right out of my pocket. And um, just thought I would give y'all a review. And uh, hopefully it will help somebody out there that might be in need of a tool such as this one. But I'll see y'all on the next one. And uh, thank y'all for watching.